everyone welcome back to my channel communicate and i'm back with yet another very useful video for you all so in this video i will give you one another alternative to scifinder as we know that scifinder is a licensed product it is a paid product and if you do not have access to scifinder just do not worry in this video i will show you another very useful platform to make your literature search so let's start with this so this search engine is known and known as reaccess so this is the user page of uh, this platform it is very similar to any any literature search page so here you have to type uh, the topic of your search whatever topic you have for example uh, if i want to search for a topic called applications of pincer ligands so i will just type my topic my my keywords i will give it and then i will press the option find when you do that it will open a, a, a page of this sort and it will show you the documents on the first one there are the, the, the this is these are the documents uh, which consist all your keywords for example the applications pincer and ligand it will have all the keywords the documents which have all the keywords uh, will be contained in this set the another set is the combination of uh, the keywords just applications and pincers and following are uh, the set of documents which have uh, yeah all the permutation and combination possible for the keywords that you have entered for example as for me i want to see the documents which have all these keywords so i will then press view result on this first set of results once i do this this will show me all the papers review articles or whatever literature is available for on the basis of my input so once you get that you can see that you can also sort your uh, your search on the basis of the publication year or the document type or by whom it was cited another option you have is on the left hand corner which is which are few filters which has given again it is the publication year now in this option you can find the publication of any particular year for example if i want to find the uh, find the publication of only the year 2020 i can do that i can also if i also want to exclude the publication of a particular year i say okay i do not want to see the pub publications of 2020 then i can use this option called exclude or if i want to see the publication of only 2020 i can use the option limit to another thing which we can do is we can also uh, see our search on the basis of the document type for example if i want to see only the review articles i can choose this option review and then press the option limit to then if i do so you see that it has now uh, give me only nine documents uh, which were early earlier about 2000 and, uh, sorry 224 now there are just nine review article based on the keywords which i have given uh, in this platform also you can make your search on the basis of the authors uh, whose literature you would like to read for example if i want to see the literature of this particular author and there is just one i will say okay i want to press this and then after that you have to press this option called limit to and once you do it i get this only publication by this particular author and since we had put in the option of review article so this is the review article of that particular author how cool is that this this is how you can refine your literature search using reaccess also next uh, we will see that using reaccess you can also make the substance search directly for example if you know the name of particular substance uh, for example i will use this substance called diphenylamine and i press uh, this find option it will show me this particular set of results in the first set of results it shows me these 376 substances which is the is the exactly substance which i have entered the name of the substance which i have entered and then another is the documents which contain that substance and third is the commercial substances available so i will go uh, to this first set of results uh, let us see what we will have here 
So now it will show me this diphenyl amine. And on this page, we can see on the right hand corner, we can see the preparations of this compound. We can see the reactions of this compound and also the documents which contain this compound. That is not it. You can also find the physical data of this compound. For example, you can find the melting point of this compound, which is written right here. And also it, it shows us the publication in which it was reported. Also, you can find the spectral information of the particular substance which you have entered. Uh, the NMR data, IR, mass, UV, vis, it will show you all kind of spectral information available for that particular substance. I think it is really, really useful if you are looking for any particular substance, right? What else can you do? So, uh, next thing which you can do is if you don't even know the name and if you know just the molecular formula of a particular compound uh, by using the molecular formula also you can make your search for example if i put in the molecular formula just random molecular formula and then i press the option find now again this page will appear showing us the substances with this particular molecular formula as we know that the same molecular formula can be for a wide variety of uh, molecules so it will show us all the substances which can possibly have this molecular formula it will then also show us the documents uh, which contain this molecular formula and again the commercial substances so let's see the results of this uh, of this search and now it will show me all these different molecules which can possibly have the same molecular formula which i put in in my search okay so once you have found your particular substance you can just click on that and then if you want to export this particular file or this particular set of result you can also do that you can press the option export here and once you do that uh, if you have sign already signed in uh, using your email id it will show you this option and it will uh, show you that you can choose a particular format in which you would like to export your uh, result whether it is a pdf or microsoft word or whatever in whatever form you want and then uh, there are several um, options how you would like to have your uh, data and then you have to just press export so once you do that it will automatically come on the email id which you have entered while signing in okay so one last thing i would like to show you is how can you create the alert of if any update comes up for any molecule okay so for example uh, again we'll go into this uh, search here and then if i press here that okay i want to use this particular substance and this uh, you can do also for your uh, literature search the first type of option which i showed you uh, if you want to create a, a alert there also you just have to go here in the left hand corner press here and once you press it it will show you here alert so you just have to press this option called alert and then this um, set of options will appear in, on your screen and depending upon uh, your requirement that okay when do you want the the alert like every week every month or every two weeks when do you want on which day you want the alert that okay there is something new about this substance or something new about this topic which you uh, made the search for blah 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 you can do all that and then you can create a, an alert for you i think that is also a very cool option okay so i think this is it what i wanted to show you in this video one last thing which i would like to show you that just like sci finder it also provides you an option for drawing your molecule i will just draw a valid molecule for you guys so that you see that it actually works okay so i will put here and then let us see what comes out okay so this is a valued molecule of course diphenyl ether and i want to see all the similar uh, molecules um, with this molecule okay so i will just transfer my query and then press the option find so now you can see of course there are so many so many results based on my inserted molecule and again i want to just see the substances with and it shows me 11 results here and i will see view results and then yeah 
it again show us the same substance search as we did earlier so this is it for this video i will come up with another video about something more about reactors because it is a very powerful tool and you can do so much more than just the basic uh, literature search so till then bye bye and i hope this video was useful for you so take care see you in the next video bye bye